Hello and welcome to another episode of the Synergy CNC YouTube channel with me, Cody. Today we're going to be looking at the new system coming from Lamello. So when it comes to CNC uh, joining, there haven't really been many sort of new things brought to the market. Uh, Lamello brought out their P-Series, which was fantastic, but expensive and not overly uh, CNC friendly. They then brought out the Cabaneo. So the Cabaneo is a brilliant little design. It clamps with a M6 um, nut and bolt. And that is the, the stud there, which will sit into the actual part itself. Now these are really good, um, but they're expensive and they're a little bit time consuming. Um, the other system they brought out is the new, um, the Clamax S20. Now the Clamax S20 is very similar to the P-Series. It is very much a biscuit broken down into two parts with this locking system in the middle. Now this is designed to be used with a biscuit jointer, which again, isn't ideal for CNC. Uh, what we've done is done a bit of testing today and we've developed a way that we can do the face part on the CNC. So if we're doing a bookcase, we don't want to be using this system because as we look from the underside, we'll always see the cover of the um, Cabaneo. By using the biscuit, it means it's going to be in the side of our panel and that will um, mean we can have it well hidden. So what we've done here is we've just machined a series of flutes. So we've dropped it down one millimeter beneath the surface and then fluted down to a further 12.25 millimeters. Now the idea of this is it comes with a nice little adapter. We can fit the components to the adapter and then we can line it up and we can then snap it in place. So that's now in there. We would then obviously place the mating part into the panel. Now depending on what the mating part is, we may have to use the biscuit jointer if it's on the end of the panel. We could set it up on the end of the CNC by clamping it to the front face. Um, normally with something like this, it's a better option to let the machine continue machining panels whilst we're sanding, deburring, or putting bits into the side. So with this, all we would do is snap that arm into place and then you'd use the Allen key to lock that in. So we've machined this one here with a four millimeter tool. And as you can see, it's rigid in all planes and with a pull, I mean, if you pull hard enough, it will come out, but it's going to take quite a few kilos of force for that to happen. Um, again, no different if you're using a biscuit jointer. Now, the other benefit of this system is Whereas the P-Series has a little rebate in behind where it would slide and lock in place, these come with these little screws here. So we would, again, locate the part. The screw then sits down through the side of the part here and screws into the material, giving us a very, very rigid joint. So that part physically can't pull out. Again, using the jig, lining this up with the center, pressing that in place. You would then put your two screws in, locating your other part in the panel. The jig itself comes with this fixture here. So we are able to actually drill down through, knowing that we can hit that location hole correctly. And then obviously we would lock that in place. This will give us a completely hidden fixing. We can look at the Cabaneo. Again, really, really strong. Um, I find these great for doing draw boxes. So we're not gonna see these, they're gonna be hidden behind the draw panel or to the rear of the draw box itself. Again, these work by pre-drilling into a panel, both in the flat state. So this is drilled straight in, that is machine next to it. So off the CNC machine, we know that everything will be completely finished. We just have to knock the stud in and then we can assemble the parts. So once we have them all fitted, I like to use something flat against the edge, 
just because when they do interlock, they are difficult to adjust forward and back. So lining up my panel, pressing it in place, and then all I have to do is with the Allen key, tighten up, Now we have an incredibly strong, surprisingly, very minimal play. So that is seeing, seeing the Lamello Clamex S20. Thanks for watching.